very still. Yes. Mm. Please forgive me. Why, 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 why are they so still? Because uh, they're... Oh, they're not really not I don't know how to where do you think they've come from? I would have thought here, somewhere. Yeah. Maybe off the coast of Portugal. US. They actually farm out in Thailand. Oh, really? Yep. Farmed? Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I'll be buying it. How do you think they would farm a prawn? Well, I've never thought about it. I've been to a trout farm. Like farming seahorses? Why would you farm a seahorse? Kate's travelled to Thailand to find out how tiger prawns are farmed. Thailand is the world's number one producer of farmed prawns, and Kate secured access to Thai Royal, one of the largest seafood processors in the region. Ah, Sawadika! Sawadika! Hello, I must be in the right place. Yes, you are welcome to Thai Royal. This is your prawn factory? It is. Uh... Wow, it's absolutely vast. So, can we see the prawns? Yes, let's go. This factory can process over half a million farm prawns, or if you're in the American seafood business, shrimp every day. The scale of production here is phenomenal. Here's our production floor. Literally a blue army of what looks like thousands of people peeling prawns to my left. Yeah, we have um, actually 1,500 workers. Workers here are paid according to how many prawns they can process in an hour. So this is where the prawns are delivered? Yes. It's absolutely incredible to see. You see how fast these workers can do the deheading? It's he amazing. Is, he's whizzing through them. How many might this man do in an hour? 600 to 700 prawns. I've got to knock off 600 of these in the next hour. <laughs> okay, grab the body, okay. hold down the head. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, like yeah. that? Perfect. And then the legs. And then the legs. Oh, yes. he needs a little wash. Not a beach in sight. We're 20 miles from the coast of Thailand, and this is where they farm prawns. Over the years, the global prawn industry has faced criticism from environmental groups and food welfare organisations, leading to increasingly tighter regulations. These, however, are sustainable, low-impact ponds, which supply to some of the most stringent British supermarkets. Kate's here to meet local prawn farmer Somsak Maklai. I always thought that prawns would be farmed in the sea. This is a special place. In the past, this is a sea. Therefore, when the sea is hanging, Looks totally mad, just big, big pools, one after another. Oh my goodness, and the rain's coming! Can I see one? Yeah. Oh, they're so big! How old is this shrimp here? So when will these shrimps be harvested? How many prawns are in this pond? That's a lot of shrimp. Right, I'm going to go. This weather is getting terrible. Most prawn farms are, in fact, just growing on stations, which buy young prawns and bring them up to market size as quickly as possible. There's a separate industry which supports the farms, the commercial hatcheries, and Kate has managed to gain access to one. Hello. Hi. Ah, Sawadika. Hello, I'm Kate. Uh, I'm Mio. How are you? Mio. Hello. Is this where you breed prawns? Yes, yes. The Sibsin Hatchery is one of six stringently regulated Global Aquaculture Alliance certificate breeding centres in Thailand. Let's start from here. We have uh, male and female. You will see the colour, the light one is female. So there are male and female prawns in this? Yes, and this is the mating time. The yes. prawns are mating right now. Yes. And they mate every single day? Yes. 
At breeding time, three stud male prawns are placed in these tanks with around 15 to 20 females. Does a male, male just find a female? And... Yes, yes. In the morning, we take time for them to have the hormone or something. Can we yes. see one of the big prawns? Yes. So is this a male or a female prawn? Female. And what is that? It's a sperm. Wow, that's the sperm. So she's been impregnated? Yes, yes. Is there anything that you do here that makes the prawns so big? We have our own breeding program, like uh, we have the pet degree. And you do that so that you end up with good prawns? Yes, yes. And just carry on like that? Mm -hmm. This hatchery produces hundreds of millions of baby prawns every year. So how do they guarantee they can deliver so many? Yes. What happens next? Spawning tanks. Can, can we see the spawning yes, tanks? Yes. Tonight, yes, about one or two o'clock, they will ride like the egg. It's very quick, isn't it? What's really surprising is that in, in the other tanks where they were mating, they were whizzing about and swimming really quickly, and they've come into this tank, and they're just really slow and gentle, and they're, they're almost, they're just staying still, aren't they? Very still. Yes. Mm. Please forgive me. Why, 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 why are they so still? Because uh, they're... Why are they not still? Why are they not still? Do you want me to ask them? Do you want This hatchery asked us not to film anything relating to the removal of their prawn's eyes.